so that I'm not uh, creating a problem. The reverb was from my phone. We, um, I've got to get a new phone <laughs> because it won't hold a charge anymore. I've worn it out. <laughs> and so we are broadcasting live on my community liaison. Lisa Hardy's phone, and she's had in it. And so this is good. We're giving people a little time to come in on our Facebook Live, and we'll give them uh, an introduction of them. Uh, so, uh, Ms. Helen, Helen came to, she just came to see me early in my administration. I want to give everyone the full story. Are we picking up some viewers? Not yet. I have to tag. See, uh, just, see I, I think mine shows that we had about four people on. We need to have a few more viewers than that. Let me see how mine's looking. We're giving people time. All right, we're we're going to just keep going, and then hopefully they will share this. So let's start up again. I'm Dan Gibbs, the mayor. Of we are in historic side here on East Franklin Street in our beautiful city, and I'm here with the family of Mr. Jesse Winston, and I'm here with his daughter, Helen, and Helen, we're going to allow you to introduce us. And I'm also grateful to have with me all the women of the Hall. Miss Helen came to see me early on in my administration, and she said, you know, my dad was a historic figure here in Nashville. A long time that region, who was born in 1910, on Christmas Day, and he went on as a young man to serve the country. He was a U.S. veteran. He also learned from an early age the trade of barbering, and he became a barber in Nashville. He lived so long that when he passed away, he has set a record. And I'm going to let Helen into his daughter share that story with you in just a moment. When we, last February, dedicated our new route of our NAPAC self-guided African-American history tour, we dedicated markers for 27 sites. But we left off a very important site, and that is the, the home, in fact, where the barbershop shop was located all these years on Franklin Street, uh, the, the very residence of Mr. Jesse Winston. 
And so today, just a few days shy of what would have been his birthday on Christmas Day, his 114th birthday. 113 birthday. We are today going to dedicate another marker. Miss Helen, I would like for you to introduce your family. I'm going to clip the microphone on you. And I would like for you to share the wonderful details of your father. Okay. Um, this is my sister, Diane. And she's the my other sister Betty Malone. Hello. Hello. My, my cousin, cousin Alicia Hall. My, my sister Ursula Hall. Hello. My friend Valerie Smith. Mm -hmm. As you know, I'm Helen. I, I was here with Dad all my life. Dad had me a whole lot of stories about an accident and everything. I think, I think you and Matthew uh, had a road to rock and slave. Very that down the street, you know, and uh, he just told me a whole lot about things uh, when he was coming up, uh, about to visit the nightclub. He said he was about to go in that day, that day, to sit down and hear the stuff that was here in the And it wasn't long before he heard about the nightclub had caught on top. So he said, well, you know, I'm glad I got out of here. You know, he hated that it happened. And they, the way it used to be on the inside, it, it just said, he just said so many things, so I did hard to capitalize on his mind, but I love it, my daddy, my dad, my dad, and I cut hair, I can say, 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 you know, you know, most people will be blessed just to live 89 years. Yeah, he got here and was a little bit. Hang on, to use a little bit. Not anymore. 89 years. And his last hair, the 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 last but dad go in and take care of it. And he went out there. He didn't have a shake or anything on him. And he got a lot. He got a little. I asked the doctor. He said, well, I have to wear the Hundred and nine, and that set a record being for being at his time of life the old living and also one of the old very can you imagine, you imagine someone living from nineteen ten to all the uh, April, 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 April 2020. So in that span of time, he went from being people to the buggy to the first automobile to um, my goodness TV, TV, electricity, putting a man on the moon. He he lived and that. It was an amazing man of history, and he lived a great life of history. We have uh, a little microphone here because we're on a busy street, East Franklin, and so this overcomes the street traffic. I would like to pass this around to any of your family members and friends here who would like to share recollections of the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
only a part of the story you know it being told. And this is such a great part of our story of history. A man who's been in care for 89 years, his brother in the community. Um, and so, Dr. Barnes, you also, through a committee that you've been providing leadership for, uh, you have also seen that in the past few months, we have we have, we have been, been listed now on Mississippi's Freedom Trail and the, and the U.S. Trail for the very first time with, with the inclusion of Dr. Tom Beckhouse, just a block, a block away from us, us just, just a few months, months ago. And next, and next month, we will then also dedicate a new marker on Mississippi Freedom Trail right here in at, at Dunham's Barber Shop on North Dr. Martin King Jr. Street. Uh, we hope we can get that out to local media just in time for Christmas because this Christmas would have been uh this uh Mr. Wilson one hundred and thirteen uh, we, uh, we also have uh, uh, Mr. Trail, the Red City Post here, so thank you, Mr. Trail, for what you've done. And, and um, um, I've got to thank Nika uh, Harvey. Nika, uh, our community liaison, has done a lot of behind the scenes work. And, and also, also Bobby Dennis with APAC. So grateful to APAC. And, and, and Ms. Wise, I'm so glad to be here. And, and in fact, Ms. Wise's husband is a long time barber in this community. 60 plus years. This is why he's got a ways to go to catch up with you. <laughs> and um, we're, we're so, so grateful for NAPAC and this one by his one is founded. And, and this, this is, is now going to be on NAPAC self guided uh, after what we did before. And I have just as we moved out to the National Democrat to see about getting a new map guide printed in time for the Black History Month 2024 because uh, Mr. Dennis we've already get out. How many, many did, did we go through? A few thousand. Well, uh, it didn't, it didn't it take, take us two months, months to get those out. Uh, so we're making a lot of progress. Now, we're, we're making progress on the U.S. Congress. 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 So, so without, without any further ado, I would, would like to ask, ask if, if I could, and you, you know your, your name, Ms. Katie. Mayor Woods. Yes, yeah, Ms. Woods, it's good to see you. Thank you. What I'd like for us to do is if we could have the cameras follow us over and come behind us so that you can see the marker. And we are about to remove the covering of the marker. It has on it not only the name of this location, but a, but a QR code, code. So, so that individ individuals who are taking this tour can go to they pack they pack website, website to a lot of information. And, and so, so let's, let's make our, our way over here. Oh dear, oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, we are, we are now going to uh, let, let the family members who would like come on this time. You and uh, I can't just take it there. there. But we, but we realize, no, let's do it now, right at Christmas time, because, because 
obviously was a Christmas gift to this community when he was born so many, so many years ago. Wow. Wow. Well, well we're going to keep the camera rolling. And, and let's go and see where he's gone. Is that okay? Mr. Okay. Mayor, before you all leave, yes, Dr. Barnes, can we get a shot of you where you're standing in the street facing the house? Yes. yes. With, With this on? Yes. Okay. This is Helen. And this is Diane. I don't know if y'all stand on either side of the Stand on the side of the wall. This is Helen. Stand on the side wall. One foot up on, and y'all are even, and then we're going to stand by. 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 Stand Ma'am, you, ma you're in the back. Can you come to the left a little bit? Just, I'm, I can't, I'm not seeing your face. <laughs> okay, you in the orange? Okay, yeah, that, okay, that looks good. All right, everybody. Okay. 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 <laughs> well, I'm going to keep my mic rolling. So, but you know. Now I'm going to hand the mic off. We're going to clip it to you, and Helen. And why don't we take a look at this Jeff on the show? Yeah, 
at these walls all yeah. six <laughs> years. I bet I bet they talked about everything from sports, sports to politics. Oh yeah, boxing, you love boxing. Yeah. Oh, wow. uh, I bet I bet it, it brings back a lot of memories. Um, I think it's somewhere. Um, took a picture yeah, of him five, sitting I in his father's chair. I think I gave it to Bobby. I think Bobby. Okay. Well, yeah. well, we we need to get that in the paper. And yeah, that's. Well, and is, is this, this the, the original chair he used all those years? Yes. Wow. You look at the way you used to sit the little chairs up on top of there. You get there, you get there, you get I used to sit up on those. Did you? Um, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> um, did he cut it short? Did he leave it long? How did he cut it? Anywhere you want. Anywhere you want. Anywhere you want. You know, good You know, um, the old the old time barber is it's almost a lost art. Yeah. Um, and he was. God, he, he was definitely uh, a piece of magic in history. Is there any way you can imagine how many haircuts he gave in his life? I tell you, this bench used to be full on a Friday, and he never come out of the barbershop until probably about nine or, nine or ten o'clock at night. Yeah. I love how you preserve all the yeah. times. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Beautiful piece of history. Um, um, you, you get ready now. That this is on the tour. There may be some people to bring to bring tours here to see it. Um, um I wasn't there. You don't open the door. Yeah, this this is really very I would I would imagine. A lot of civil rights history discussion took place. Right back behind the mirror was the first pair of clippers you use. Oh. Right there. I don't have a very first pair of clippers when you start working. Right, right. Right, right, right. Right above. Right here? Right here? Oh, my. Wow. That's amazing. So, so these clippers are how old? I don't know that um I don't know that I mean I have some more here to squeeze. Okay. Uh, yeah. I used to always act bad. Well, today yeah. has really been a blessing for us. A blessing. Yeah. Thank you. And, uh, thank, thank you so much. Thank you all yeah, for sharing this with us. Thank you. 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 Thank you.